So the Winchester Mansion, which I can't believe. Have you even ever heard of it? I, I don't know. So you know what Winchester rifles are, right? No. What? I mean, if I look at it, I probably know, dude, but not the name. Or okay. Well, Winchester rifles are like one of the. They're like one of the biggest. I don't know if they are anymore, but then they were one of the biggest gun manufacturers in the world or mm. country or something. So the Winchester Mansion, uh, Sarah Winchester. So her husband, she she was married to I think his name uh, William William Manchester Winchester. His dad was the founder of Winchester Firearms. Mm -hmm. So baller, yeah. And then they were the. They were nicknamed the gun that saved the West because I think there was some kind of battle. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't for these guns, they would have lost the battle. So Interesting. Anyways, that's the kind of the background story behind the guns, Winchester. <clears throat> but then, so they lived cool. They, they didn't always live here. Actually, she's the only one who ever lived there in her family. Um, so the husband died of tuberculosis. Um, that's a cancer, right? Huh? Or no? Isn't that a type of cancer? TB. I don't hey, think okay. so. Anyway. Yeah, anyways, tuberculosis. Uh, fuck, now you got me. Call. I'm like, is that a cancer? I don't think it's cancer. Anyway, I think it's a bone disease or something. Mm -hmm. um, so he died from tuberculosis, and then not long after, her daughter died. So she went to a, a medium, a spiritual medium, because she was scared that the ghost of the people that the Winchester firearms killed mm -hmm. was haunting her family. Oh, so since her family, her family name created these guns that killed all these people, mm -hmm. she was saying that, hey, these these spirits are haunting me. They killed my husband. They killed my daughter. And now they're coming for me next. So this spirit or this the spirit medium, whatever lady told her, here's what you got to do. You got to move way out west. You got to go build a house and you got to keep building this house. So and the, the spirits will not haunt you because the noises from the the hammers, the hammering of the nails and all that will keep them away. Mm. So she she moved out west, she bought this. I think it was a originally it was an eight room house. Eight rooms. Like mm -hmm. not bedrooms, eight rooms. Okay. So if you think of what that was compared to what it is now, that's really freaking crazy. But so she started um construction on it and the construction I'm gonna have to read this. Go ahead. The construction um, literally went on 24 hours a day, seven days a week for... No way. Yeah. How did she sleep? She wasn't building it. Oh. she. she well, you got to think. She, so when her husband died, she... Well, I'm saying, how did she sleep if they were working on it? I guess they stopped that night or... No. Literally 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Con oh, see, how the fuck do you sleep? Complete if she was living in it, I don't know if she was. She was. That's crazy. I don't know. I, I don't know. That's yeah, a good yeah, question. Yeah. How she... I was like, how did you sleep? But I don't know. But she was already felt like she was being haunted by these spirits. So she probably thought the sound of these hammers and nails beaten was probably kind of comforting to her because she it thought that it was, was keeping the spirits away. For yeah, her too. yeah. Um. So, anyways, the twenty four hours a day, seven days a week, she had this constant construction going on. Um. Crazy, crazy ideas and theories. She had this room called the uh, the seance room where she went every single night. And she had these ghosts, yeah, these, weird. these spirits that talked to her. They were like good spirits who weren't bothered by the noises. Yeah. And they talked to her, talked to her and told her what to do the next day, like of construction. Mm -hmm. So every night she went in her seance room, she drew pictures or blueprints or whatever. The next day she went out, gave the construction guys the blueprints. They went about their business building whatever she it's built. Crazy. So if you've ever heard about the house or seen the house, there's like, stairs that lead to nowhere there's like there's one thing that a, a literal just a cabinet opens up and you can see like 40 different rooms a cabinet just a cabinet like a kitchen cabinet you open it up and it's like a window to 40 different rooms that's insane yeah so um but there's stairways that lead to nowhere mm -hmm. um like some stairways go straight into the ceiling and one of the things is that people think she did this because she was trying to confuse the spirits that roam her house. Yeah. To they go up these stairs and then they just completely don't they don't know where they're at, blah blah blah. I don't know. It's she was a crazy lady. Um, but one of the things she did now it's kinda she kinda sounds like she was being like uh slaverish, like 
Okay. Like, because she was keeping these people working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now, of course, it wasn't the same crew every single day, all yeah. day. But she was keeping these people doing this stuff 24 hours a day. But she paid them double the average wage of that time period. Really? So she was, like, paying her people, like, crazy. And then she had, she was a big part of the community. Like, she donated to charities. Mm -hmm. She had these things where um, she gave, she gave big, no, the big donations to orphanage, uh, orphanages. Um, local children were always invited to play on the grounds, and she, gave, she supplied them with free ice cream and all this different stuff. So she didn't come off as your typical crazy lady. She was, mm -hmm. like, really cool, really calm-headed. She just had... She was scared is basically yeah. it. So she, and she had a lot of money. She inherited this huge, huge rifle company, which paid her a thousand dollars a day, wow. which back then, That's this, a is lot in, of money. What, this is in the 1870 and she died in 1922. So you got to think thousand dollar a day back then is like, wow. Yeah. That's like three steep. lifetimes ago. Yeah. Jesus yeah. Jesus Christ. So, um, so yeah, she did that. Um, and even after she died, the the people, like her her employees, all her employees were living for the most part. All of them lived within the house oh, with her wow. pretty much. Yeah. So even yeah. after her death, no. And by the way, the construction continued from 1864, I think, don't quote me, until 1922 when she died. Really? So for how long is that? 30, almost 60 years, something like that? Yeah. yeah. Almost 60 years, 24 hours a day. Seven days a week, That's the house insane, was being bro. the house was being built on. So, but after she died, none of the none of the workers went against her, called her crazy, didn't mention anything abnormal going in the house because she took such good care of them. Yeah, that it said that they just would not go yeah. against her in any way or talk about her in death. Um, but after Winchester's death, a man named John Brown purchased the mansion and decided to make it a tourist attraction. Um, and then. Everybody knows who Harry Houdini is. I heard his name. Harry Houdini. Yeah. Houdini, the magician guy. Mm. So he went to the house after Winchester's death because he heard about all these, it's haunted and all these spirits and stuff like that. So he literally went to debunk all this stuff because uh -huh. he was, he was on, he didn't believe in, he didn't believe in spiritualism. He didn't believe in ghosts. He thought it was a big fraud. Um, whatever so he went and he was unsure of it like he didn't know he couldn't debunk it he couldn't prove oh. it so he was like so then he's the one who gave it the name the winchester mystery house because it was a complete mystery like he oh. he did not know what the fuck was going on yeah there. so um but in the end the house so it started off like i said at an eight room house so in the end now it's 161 rooms, 40 bedrooms, 13 bathrooms, 52 skylights, 47 fireplaces, 40 staircases, three elevators, and two basements. That's insane. And 10,000 panes of glass. So 10, 000, basically 10,000 windows, some of which have no, will never see, see, never see sunlight. Yeah, like just, some of them are just inside. Inside. Yeah. And people are always amazed because I forgot the company, uh, Tiffany, I don't know. It, it's a really big glass company, but some of the most expensive glass in the whole house is will never nobody will ever see it because it's not. It's yeah. we'll never see sunlight. That's insane. So I got some pictures here pulled up <clears throat> that probably won't make it on the podcast, but maybe on the clip. But I mean, there's there's it's just built weird. It's super weird. Like this leads to nothing. You see that? Yeah, the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. I mean, this is. This is fucking weird. The um, movie did a really good job with this. Really? This story, I'm yeah. I'm going to watch this movie. Yeah, it's a really good movie. Like, yeah, it, it seems pretty, pretty, like, yeah, I don't know where this leads to. So. Yeah, but I would, um, I recommend, I think the movie came out in 2018 or something. What is it called? Just Winchester. Oh, okay. So Netflix. And it's like, uh, I don't think it's on Netflix. I saw it in movies and then. Look, it's upside down right there. You see that? Yeah, but like everything's just so. That's trippy. I've always wanted to go there. Look, but. someone got married there. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, though, man. Yeah. I really never heard of, like, I don't think I've ever heard of this story. That's crazy, because that it's, like, one of the like one of the big stories. Because uh -huh. Winchester rifle, rifles are, like... But I'm not into 
guns. Like me uh, either. But so, I'm into um, like stuff. And they made a movie about it, so I was like, wow, yeah. this is super. But the movie's really good. It. I think they filmed it at the house, if I'm not mistaken. But I yeah. could be wrong. Wow. But I would definitely check it out. Super cool. But yeah, it's um. Just a. a it's in California. Yeah, San Jose. A lady scared of some ghost. Uh, Do spent, you think that's like crazy though? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, you, you got to think her husband died. Like, so her family, her husband's dad made this company and that company had a major part in the killings of hundreds of thousands of people. Mm -hmm. So even though she didn't directly have any part of it, mm -hmm. you got to think if he wouldn't have created this stuff or these guns or this company, how many people would have stayed alive? So I'm, I bet it was more guilt. Uh, like her guilty yeah. conscience was weighing on her and making her kind of uh, see things or think things that weren't yeah. exactly true. I think they just gave her a lot of anxiety. And you got to think back then, anxiety wasn't a thing. Depression yeah. wasn't a thing. So, so she probably didn't even know what it was. Yeah, she probably just thought it was spirits because that's, ah, that's sometimes true. what it that's can feel like true. is spirits haunting you because you have these thoughts in your head. Uh, Damn, like, I did not think about it, bro. Can you imagine back in the day, like it was anxiety yeah. or depression, and you thought it was like some ghost shit? Exactly. And that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, wow. maybe. And the the seance lady or the spirit medium, probably, she doesn't know that either. Mm -hmm. It's because this is all back medical terminology that came about early way, 1900s, yeah, late 1800s. So I'm thinking maybe she has really bad anxiety and really a, a guilty conscience, and she didn't know what to make of it. So mm -hmm. she went to a spiritual medium, and she was like, "Oh, you're being haunted. You need to go do this to keep these ghosts yeah. away." And then the idea that it was helping gave her, because you got to think, beating of hammers and nails probably isn't actually keeping the ghost away. If they're going to be, they're going to be there. But yeah. it was the thought of that helping that kind of how she dealt with yeah, it. Kind of dealt with it. It might have been like some type. It was of probably just a really bad mental not, yeah, yeah illness. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of wow. it's kind of cool. Like that's interesting. Yeah, that's very interesting. Yeah. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you think on the comments below. See you on the next one.